We're going to quickly fill up the foam box with some smoke. As soon as that bus comes now, we're going to get a shot. Hold oh, still, Greg. Ugh. Yes, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, so typically when I go and do my photo shoots in London, for example, I don't really ever go out with a plan. I kind of just go out, go to a location and kind of just see what I can create. Um, but I'm kind of thinking that I want to put a bit more planning into my shoots uh, and that is where I've been actually using Pinterest a lot to kind of get some inspiration uh, and kind of actually plan the shoots a little bit beforehand, beforehand, have a little bit of an idea in my head of what I want to create. So I've been getting a ton of inspiration from Pinterest uh, and tonight I want to go out and create something similar. Uh, I actually have with me these nan lights here and I've never actually used nan lights before uh, but I want to go out and do some light painting with these uh, nan lights. So I want to kind of create a cool portal effect uh, and I want to have like a cool character like emerging from the portal. Uh, I've seen a lot of this on Instagram but I want to go out and try it for myself and see what kind of creative spin I can put on it. So we have these mini uh, nan lights and we also have uh, a couple of the massive nan lights which we can create some super big portals with which I'm really excited about. Uh, but first of all we kind of need to create our character which is going to be in frame in all of these photos uh, wherever I go in the city. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking like a really cool wide hat and maybe like a long uh, jacket. I want this guy to be like really mysterious and he's going to be like a silhouette in the frame. Uh, so first things first, let's go get our character. <laughs> All right, so boys and girls, here we are. We've arrived in the city of London and somehow the weather today is absolutely perfect for this. We've got like a really nice low mist in London. The floor is really wet, so we're gonna get some awesome reflections. Uh, and that sort of misty, uh, foggy vibe is really what we're going for. That's really gonna sort of help the photos. A lot of the photos on the Pinterest uh, that I created kind of had that really nice foggy, eerie vibe. Uh, I'm gonna be meeting up with two of my friends, Mike and Greg. Uh, Mike is going to be kindly supplying the outfit uh, for our character uh, and Greg is going to be our man in frame for this uh, and yeah they're going to arrive shortly and we're going to get shooting very soon because it's just on the cusp of blue hour uh, and that is when the photos will look best. Okay so we've just arrived at our location we have here we've got Mike over here we've got Greg over here who is wearing the, uh, the mysterious outfit he's got the hat the jacket provided by, uh, by yours truly over there. And uh, this is our location. So we've come down to this really cool staircase by the Shard. Uh, and the plan is we're gonna have like a portal uh, at the top of the staircase with Greg sort of emerging from it. Um, and we're just gonna try out a few different uh, options now, just to experiment with how it works. Uh, but it's looking kind of promising so far from a few tests. Uh, but yeah, let's just get straight into more practice. Okay, so we have our camera set up now. I'm actually shooting on the 12 to 24 mil from Sony. Uh, and we've got like a really nice wide shot here, uh, just so we can get kind of like the whole staircase and all of like the, uh, the different shapes and stuff. The 2.8 or the F4? This is a 2.8 one. Okay, there we uh, go. Just so we can get like, a, let a lot more light in, as obviously as we're shooting in the low light conditions. And then we're using the, the Pavo Tube 30C from Nanlite. This is like the, the massive one, uh, just so we can get like a really nice wide portal. I think that's quite important. Uh, as obviously Greg kind of takes up a lot of the frame so it's nice to have a nice wide portal uh, and we're actually shooting on the we're experimenting with like the, the, the dimness <laughs> so literally so bright but yeah we've got it on like a nice white color because that's probably like the best one for the portal and we might kind of try a few different colors later uh, but we'll just see how things go all right so we're doing a two and a half second exposure yeah all right let's just test this all right three two one and go Okay, so we've just finished now at our first location. Um, it went really well. That was kind of just to try out the actual process to see that it actually worked. And good news is that it does. Um, so now it's got a bit darker now. We're gonna go check out some more locations. I'm actually wanting to check out like a phone box. So I think doing one of these portals in a phone box would be like a really cool idea. Uh, but I'm really happy that it works. Uh, the nanlights, they work really well for this. 
Um, and yeah, fingers crossed we can get some more bangers and uh, let's just keep going. So we've changed locations, we've come to St Paul's Cathedral and we have this lovely fountain feature with an awesome reflection. As you can see, that is the, literally the cleanest reflection. We've got St Paul's up there, it might go into position with the portal and we've got our mysterious character going down. Then we have two setups here, as we said earlier, one of a frame over here and one of a frame over here. Mike's using the leading line of this, which is going to be really cool. Uh, and I'm using just the, the whole reflection itself. Okay, so we had to take a little bit of a break just saying, because basically we were at the fountain. We had all our stuff set up, but then all of a sudden it just started raining. And that really destroyed the reflection in the shot. Uh, so we just went and got some dinner uh, and now we're just walking out because fingers crossed it stopped raining so we can go back and get our shot. Uh, but if not, we'll check out another location. So we changed locations because the previous one, it wasn't really working because of the rain, it was just mucking up the reflection. But we've come to uh, the back of St. Paul's Cathedral and we've got these two telephone boxes. And essentially my plan or idea for this shot is I want to make it look like the portal is sort of the telephone box so Greg our character is going to be sort of emerging from the phone box and I've also got this uh, it's like mist spray so I'm going to spray it inside the phone box and hopefully that's going to really nicely diffuse all the light from the nan lights so the setup we've gone for for the phone box in terms of the lighting I'll show you here we've got uh, two of the big nan lights in either of the corners uh, the smaller power tubes are actually magnetic you can literally just stick them to wherever he wants so I'm going to stick it up here and it literally just sticks up there it's really handy um, so that's pretty much as much as much light as we're going to get I'm going to quickly fill up the phone box with some smoke atmospheric spray as soon as that bus comes now we're going to get the shot oh still Greg So that was like a, a two and a half second exposure. It was just, I would say it's just short enough for Greg to be able to hold still. Um, you don't really want to go any longer than that because it just becomes really hard to get everything sharp. Uh, and it gave enough time to get a nice bus trail as well. So I'm really happy with those shots. Uh, and I think we're maybe going to go to one more location. Okay, so that pretty much wrapped up uh, what went on in that shoot. And I'm not going to lie, I'm actually very, very happy with how everything went. Usually these types of things, there's always something that kind of tends to go wrong. But the whole night, apart from the rain, actually was a pretty smooth night. And I'm very happy with the results. Like it didn't take too much trial and error to kind of understand how to do this, what settings to use, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we actually ended up going back to the St. Paul's reflection spot by the water fountain, um, but I didn't really get the chance to vlog too much of that uh, just because it was getting quite late. Uh, but that shot actually turned out super, super nice. I'll pop it on the screen now. Uh, I really love the fact that you have the complete crystal clear reflection. Uh, as before, there was rain droplets completely ruining it. Uh, so I'm really glad that we waited for the rain to go. But yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Maybe you found it useful uh, or insightful and hopefully it might encourage you to go out and try something similar. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these types of shoots in the future and it was awesome getting to use these nan lights. They're definitely something that I want to experiment more with uh, because as you guys know, I love doing light painting and night photography uh, and the, the lights kind of just add a whole different element of creativity uh, to photography. So yeah, you can expect more videos like this from me in the future uh, and if this is the first time that you are seeing my videos on your screen uh, then feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, that would very much help me out and if you did enjoy this video please feel free to drop a thumbs up on the video also uh, feel free to go and check out Mike and Greg who helped me out with this shoe I really appreciated their help uh, it couldn't have been possible without them uh, and also in case you're wondering all of the photos that you saw in this video were in fact edited with my presets uh, so I'll leave a link to them down below 
in the description along with a link to the nan lights uh, where you guys can go and pick up some for yourself but yeah i think i'll leave things there and i look forward to catching you guys in the next video peace